Delicious fragile tears. Oh my goodness. So if you haven't heard, well, you're in luck because the internet is ablaze right now, okay? People are losing their minds. And when I mean people, I mean predominantly white, racist, incel, neckbeard people. Those are the people that are going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs right now. And you wanna know the reason why? Is because that insomniac has said that Miles Morales is gonna be the main Spider-Man in their universe. That's correct, Miles Morales, the main Spider-Man within the insomniac universe. And boy, oh boy, these mofos are losing it. They're going crazy, bruh. They're going cuckoo for Coca Puffs. I saw a few people tweet, this is, this is the best one I've seen, is Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Miles Morales is Miles Morales. I'm sorry, what the hell does that mean? Hmm? Can you tell me what that means? That's like saying Peter Parker is Spider-Man, Miguel O'Hara is Miguel O'Hara. Like, what? <laughs> what, what? It's crazy because they get so, they have so much hatred in their hearts that they start just speaking drivel. You have all these racists, all these neckbeards, these incels who are losing it. They are going insane. And it's really, I'm, I'm kind of scared right now. I'm genuinely scared because I don't know what they'll, I don't know what they're, they're capable of. Well, actually, we do know what they're capable of. So, Make sure you say locked and loaded because you never know. They, they may do a January 6th, but it may be on, on Insomniac uh, Game Studios. <laughs> I, hope, I hope Insomniac has, has uh, uh, upped their security, all right? I hope Brian Inhar, bruh, get you some security, okay? Because these mofos is wild. They, they, they crazy, okay? I don't, want, I don't want, God forbid something happened to you. You know, and we see it on the news and it's like, you know, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3 has been postponed or delayed. We don't want that to happen, okay? So I, <laughs> I want y'all to boost your security. I just find it absolutely hilarious because let's break this down. How many games do we have of Peter Parker, bro? Uh, how many games do we have of this man? If we go all the way back to the PS1 to currently, how many games we include mobile games, bro? we have a plethora of Peter Parker games, all right? There is nothing wrong with giving the mantle to Miles Morales. Just as, you know, Batman and everyone else has given the mantle to, to other individuals to carry it on, to carry on the legacy. Do you wanna know why? Because they get old and they die. That's what happens. Now I understand, I understand, Peter is not old in this game. But here's the thing, let me just break this down to you. This is something that I had to deal with. I had to struggle and get over. And that is, this is Insomniac's universe. That is correct. This is Insomniac Spider-Man. This is Insomniac's Mary Jane. This is Insomniac's Miles Morales. I may not like how they portray Peter Parker. I may not like how they portray Mary J. I may not like how they do Miles Morales. I may not like the combat. I may not like the side missions, but at the end of the day, this is their game. This is their vision. This is what they have put out. And at the end of the day, you can either accept that or not accept that. And if you accept it, well then, hey, join the ride. Welcome to the club. And if you don't accept it, then go off. Bye, go somewhere. I don't know what to tell you. These. These, these dregs of society, what they end up doing is that they constantly, they're just intention seekers, bro. They're constantly attention seekers. They have to cry and scream on their way to the exit. And it's like, yo, we, we don't care, bro. We, we don't care. They're just like, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I, this is wokeity, wokeity, woke, 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 okay? I'm leaving. And it's like, bro, you don't, you don't have to tell us. Just leave, right? Just, just, you don't have to tell us you're not buying the game. Just don't buy the game. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. It's just these wokeity, woke types are so nauseating. Because I'm like, bro, it's 2023. I get it when it's 2016, right? I get it, you know, when, you know, when that's popular and stuff right now. That's not popular right now, okay? You're just... 
you're just grifting for, for nothing. It's not even a grift at, at this point. You just seem ignorant. You seem not only racist, but you seem bigoted at this point. What I've basically gathered is that when it comes to woke, first off, they bastardize a term. Secondly, the original definition of the term woke, they use it for negative. So basically, it's anything having to do with social issues regarding black people and uh, LGBT. That's woke to them. I, I kid you not. It's, it's just woke to them. And I want to say this. This is not to criticize the, the predominantly white, incel, neckbeard um, individuals. This is not to criticize them. I understand. I get where you're coming from, okay? I can sympathize with you. I really can. Because you have to understand, to them, they feel like they're losing everything. One character that these fragile individuals had was Spider-Man. White Spider-Man. That's, that's the one thing they could, they could sympathize with. Like, he's a nerd like me. That's the only thing they could sympathize because... <laughs> Because Spider-Man, he had a crazy physique, he had a hot-ass bombshell girlfriend, and he had a job. Those are three things that none of these individuals, uh, the vast majority of them, have, okay? <laughs> so I, it, it ends and begins with him being white and him, I don't know, being, uh, being broke. That, <laughs> that's, that's where it ends. And that's where it begins. That's where it starts and ends. Everything else is like, I don't, I, how do you identify with Spider-Man? I don't, I don't get it, bro. But they feel like everything's being ripped from them, okay? They're saying, hey, it's Black Panther. Why, why is there a black person on screen? Hey, why is this happening? Why, is, why are people now bringing up a, a social issues that I don't agree with? What about me? What about me? And so you have to understand, they've been coddled for centuries. You have to understand this. They've been coddled for centuries. So when people start to, well, this is not what's supposed to happen. This is not, why are we doing this, right? It, we're just doing this due to tradition. Okay, let's stop that and actually see if we can improve things. Let's see if we can actually have a diverse, you know, uh, 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 you know, representation in some of our platforms. Let's see if we can actually, you know, engage in political uh, 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 discourse and see if we can do that on, on, uh, on games or different mediums, which has always been the case. If you look in comics, I mean, Captain America was punching Hitler, all right? They, they've always tackled difficult topics, right? Especially with the X-Men, whether it was Spider-Man, Superman, that's always been the case. So when people would say, you know, politics, 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 I notice certain things happen to deal with politics when it comes to these inbred types, right? If it's a black person, that's politics. If it's a white person, well, that's America. <laughs> If it's a black person, that's politics. If it's, you know, a, a white person, well, that's good gameplay. That's great storytelling. And it's just, I just find the hypocrisy, it, it's hilarious to me. It's, it's honestly hilarious to me. But you have to understand there's a victim complex that these kids are being fed. They are being fed to be victims. And it's, it's really sad to see because that's where this whole, well, this is anti-white. This is where the whole, well, that's not diversity. You just mean it's anti-white. No, that's not what that means. That means in, in addition to white, in addition to white. That's a, that's a notion that many of them have never had to, you know, to take in because it's always been their way or the highway. So now you have other individuals, other white individuals who are saying, well, let's not do it that way. Let's bring everyone else in and see what their opinions are. Let's see if we can get a different perspective that can enrich this game or can enrich this movie or can enrich this uh, storytelling. And then of course you have those who are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs where they're just going off on the deep end where no one wants to see what they produce. But they try to conflate those two. They try and conflate the cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs with the people who generally want change for the better of the country and for the better of, 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 of society. But you have to understand that's what they feel. So when they see Spider-Man, right? being, you know, the mantle being given to Miles, they feel like they're losing it. They feel like, hey, I'm losing my power on, on reality. I'm losing, this is no longer a, a, a white Spider-Man, okay? I, I, I can't identify with Miles Morales. And it's honestly hysterical because it goes back to like, well, how do you think, you know, little black Lucas felt, right? How do you think other black kids felt? How do you think non-white people felt constantly being bombarded with a plethora of white superheroes. There were black superheroes, but they weren't given the spotlight. There were black actors, but they weren't given the roles. 
There were black artists, but they weren't given as far as the opportunities, how ignorant and how selfish they can be. Because once again, they've been coddled. I never saw as far as Spider-Man as white Spider-Man. I thought his character, because a lot of the issues he was going through, um, I was going through and I identified with that. But you leave it to these incels, you leave it to these neckbeards, these racists, that's what they identify with. It's not his powers or anything like that because that's not, they don't have powers in the real world. They're usually broke. <laughs> they're, they're usually underweight or overweight. That's what, the, so the only thing they can identify is with his whiteness. They're like, hey, he's white, I'm white. That's awesome, great. But that's, that's why it's, it's such a superficial bonding that many of them have that it's also a reflection of the arguments that they present. Because it's just like, you ask him actual questions, why do you believe that? It just boils down to, well, he's black. And it's like, what? That's, that's the only issue you have? So I can, I, you know, a bond with a, a Peter Parker just as much as I can bond with Miles Morales. But you have to understand there's an audience that can't do that. There's an audience that sees that barrier because of the color of that person's skin. They see that as, this is political. There's an agenda behind it. This is an, they use a whole bunch of ambiguous terms to try and mask their hatred. I'd rather they just come out and say, I, not my Spider-Man because he's black, right? We had that during you know, the election when it came to Obama. They, they didn't know any policies, right? But it was just simply because he was black. Hey, no, we don't, we don't want him because he's black. I respect people who come out and say they're anti-black hatred, they're racist, they're bigotry, then people who try to masquerade behind, you know, the English language, right? They, they, try to, to, they try to mask their intentions, mask their beliefs, because they feel like, well, if I actually come out and say this, I'll be persecuted. And it's like, well, yes, <laughs> because, I mean, that's an antiquated racist perspective. So it's not necessarily you be persecuted, but you will be ostracized. Okay, those are two different things. It's not that someone will do anything to you, it's just that people will avoid you. So I, I, you also have to understand that they have never suffered consequences, right? It's always been their way or the highway. So when they suffer consequences for their behavior or for their hatred, that's when they cry censorship. Because <laughs> it's really delusional how these individuals think, right? Because they wanna be able to spew just hatred and, 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 and just real venomous stuff under the guise of free speech and stuff like that. So it's, they, they, they're so used to having it their way that when actual people come up, you know, good people come, in, come up in the ranks and say, we're, no, we're not doing it this way, they end up becoming fragile. They end up, you know, why so fragile? They end up crying and crumbling before our eyes. And I think that's what we're seeing. To my last point is I don't like this Peter Parker. That's correct. I don't like this Peter Parker. So I really don't care what happens to this Peter Parker. I don't like this guy. I, uh, to be really honest with you, I like Bubniak's face, Bubniak's face, whatever his name was. I like the original face. They already changed his face. I don't, <clears throat> already don't like him. They changed Mary Jane, already don't like it. The writing in this game, the uh, uh, Spider-Man 2, absolutely trash. I have no care in the world for this Peter Parker. None whatsoever. And I find it hilarious because you had a lot of these individuals, you know, these incels, neckbeards, those types, the anti-black racists, you had a lot of them criticizing the game for its wokeness and its wokey wokeness and they completely nerfed Peter and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, okay, well, if that's how you feel, then you, you weren't going to buy the next game anyway, right? So what does it matter what they do with the story? You don't like Peter, right? So what does it matter what they do with Peter? So it just seems, it, 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 what it comes off as is just fake outrage. They just want to complain to simply complain. That's what they want. They want their voices heard because they feel like it's being, it's being muffled or they're being silenced, which is absolutely delusional. So they'll scream and cry even louder. I don't care for this Spider-Man, to be honest with you. I, I, think, it's, I think the story is trash. Um, I don't like where they're going. If they want to hand off the mantle to, to Miles, by all means. I think Miles is honestly, gameplay-wise, I think he's more fun to play than Peter. It's as simple as that. I think he's more fun to play as Peter. So if they can expound upon his abilities and improve the gameplay, absolutely, let's freaking go. Um, now, of course, that's going to alienate a lot of the racists 
uh, you know, the neck beard, neck beards, the incels, it's going to alienate them. But I mean, at the end of the day, there's nothing you could do. We can't cater as a society to the dregs of the society. We can't cater to the cuckoo for cocos. We can't cater to the, the, the you know, the bigots. We can't cater to the, to the racists. We can't cater to them, unfortunately. All right. Because I know, you know, in capitalism, if you can make a dollar off a racist, you can make a dollar's a dollar, right? But that's, that's, that's harmful to society as a whole. So we need to be going in a different direction and let them die by the wayside. It's just as simple as that. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, look, 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 this is woke, okay? There's, a, there's a, an agenda behind it. It's an agenda. That's what it is. You need to look at the ESRB or whatever, the ESB. You need to look at what's really going on here, okay? This is an agenda. It's an anti-white agenda, and I'm not for it, all right? Or if you have believe, listen, I get it. Hashtag not my Spider-Man. Boo-hoo. Don't buy the game. Great. I mean, just be quiet on your way out. There's the door. Go and exit. It's as simple as that. I don't, I'm, I mean, I'm not, I have no preference when it comes to which way they go with Peter or Miles. I want a good game. I want a good story. If that's a story with Miles or if that's a story with Peter, then so be it. But I find it interesting how they think that Peter isn't going to have any whatsoever, whatsoever uh, uh, interaction in the game. That's not what they mean by main Spider-Man. You can have a main Spider-Man and still have, you know, Peter be around. Just like Batman is the main character of Batman game, but you also have Robin and Nightwing, right? And, and Batgirl who, who make an appearance. So given the threat of, 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 of the next game, how big it may be, obviously he's gonna have backup. It's the reason why he had backup in this one when it came to Venom. So. I think, you know, people want to be upset to be upset and they have every right to do that. And you know what? I have every right to, to laugh at their, you know, their hatred, their racism and their bigotry and, you know, call it what it is. Nevertheless, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, um, well, actually, if you disagree, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days, which are typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. Uh, you call in, we duke it out. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing.